Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Dragons. So today I'm going to do how to draw the neck attached to the head of the dragon based on a suggestion. And this time I will show you some examples first. So here we have Photoshop open and you can see I already drew some examples. So first of all, I want you to see how the neck connects to the head. So as you can see it starts in the throat and then it has another muscle that will hold on and then this is the spine, right? In this one we see the same except that this time this muscle here is further back. And this one we see the same as this but with a frill which is like a muscle cartilage connected to the neck. And in this one we see a very thin neck like that would not support this head whatsoever. Like This is such a big head for this. So, as there are many angles you can draw a head in, this becomes a little complicated when you have to decide what your character would actually look like. For that, I suggest you look at dinosaurs first, because they show some very interesting neck compositions. As you can see, maybe the long neck dinosaur has a very long neck connecting to his body and as you can see his head is small, relatively small so this means this neck can hold on this head which is great now we're going to see for example a Tyrannosaurus you can see the T-Rex has such a big head right and this is so good looking look at that such a happy T-Rex Okay, so he has strong neck, very thick. This is, of course, maybe not that accurate, but as you can see, I don't know, we'll do his little arms. This neck is thicker than this, so he can hold on this head, and that's great. Or maybe another example would be a horse. You can see how horses also have like very interesting necks, depending on the horse really, but this gets thicker and this gets shorter. And the head is a whale-sized head. So, as you can see, these make sense, right? Like, you have to see what makes sense. In birds, maybe swans, you can see their very long, thin and elegant looking neck. In other animals like dogs or wolves, maybe even felines, their neck is shorter, thicker, felines as well, um, maybe cats, cats have their like a short neck as well, very short neck. So what I'm trying to say here is that there's a sense to why necks look the way they do in different animals. And I cannot just tell you go draw a dragon with whatever neck you prefer because it would not look that well, that good. So based on these examples, I'm going to draw another dragon. So let's see, maybe we could have a dragon looking upwards. So this would be the jaw. This would be his eye. So that's the head. His head is looking this way. So what would you do with something like this? It's a little complicated to figure out how an animal will look like. So I will grab a little um, statue here I have. So if you have a, a figurine of a dragon, I would recommend you use it. It helps a lot. 
So for example, once you have the jaw, you will connect it to the neck. Because his mouth open, his teeth would look like this. So the point is, don't be afraid of actually joining the neck to the body. As the dragons have spines, I assume, um, you can actually draw, I don't know, the, the head first, right? And then the jaw, the lower jaw, like this. And you would ask, what do I do? Like, what do I do with the neck? Where do I put it? Well, it's quite simple, so... It has to be connected to two parts. Here and here. So even if your dragon were looking in that direction and his body went on this one, the spine starts here, goes this way, and then just following that line, which is the one you need, connected to the neck to the head you will do this for example if he's looking this way you will join the muscles like this this is the spine right so eventually he will show on this side and he has the wings like this I don't know if this makes sense but if not I'll try another example wait So let's go back to that. So the spine could be looking this way. And then the leg could be longer. Maybe, let's try a different color. Thinner. And based on the size of the head, if it were smaller, for example, you can create a thinner. So these are just examples on how it will look to create different necks on a dragon. It's quite fun to experiment and to add details, for example, if you're adding, I don't know, a big frill like this, or spikes, I don't know. And another um, interesting point, and a very important one, is that if you're created a thin-necked dragon, meaning if you do this, and your dragon looks like this, and then you add this and then spikes and everything and horns and well I don't know what you want to add but if you do this your animal's head would be on the floor he won't be able to move and he'll probably die of starvation for not being able to escape and feed himself so please don't do that don't kill your animal even if they're fictional so this is it for this video. I really hope you liked it and I will have a new link to my new Discord server. So if you're interested in joining the conversation, if you have any questions or anything, I will put the link in the description below. And if you want to see more videos when I upload them, just click the bell icon at the top of my profile where it says subscribe. So that was all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked. Bye-bye.